So in 2016, they studied King Tut's dagger and discovered that it was likely to be made out of meteorite iron. They used what's called an XRF spectrometer to determine the nature of the metal that was used. Because iron was not exactly well used during the Egyptian period, especially during King Tut's rule, which was 1300 BC. To find meteorite iron used in ancient Egypt, that's well before when we were regularly using iron as humans. That's when we would call the Iron Age. The ancient Egyptians were much more in the Bronze Age, where we were working mostly with bronze and metals like that. So it was very uncommon to find iron. The composition was 89% iron, 11% nickel, and the remainder was cobalt. Now, anybody who knows anything about meteorites knows that they have a high nickel content. But the problem with this is that meteorites are very difficult to fashion into objects. Very, very brittle, very difficult to work with. One of the challenges with getting iron out of a meteorite and mining it is really the composition of the iron will be spread out perhaps throughout the meteorite, maybe not clustered. You have to find it, you have to get it from the meteorite. One of the qualities that makes this dagger so unique and has brought a lot of attention onto it is the way that it was created. It has no hammer marks on it. It's completely smooth. It has a nice edge all the way around on it. It doesn't display all the telltale signs of iron working from that time period. So where did the blade come from? Did the Egyptians make it? If the ancient people were looking at the sky for extraterrestrials, and then essentially a, a sort of a present was sent to them in the form of meteoric iron. This would have been something just so valuable to them and auspicious because it was literally coming from heaven.